So, five, five minutes and 40 into the flight. Let's try and pick Kieran up uh, on the... Oh, we have some pictures. The satellite pictures are back. Let's see if we can pick up Kieran at the Cape. Kieran, what's happening? Hello, Mike. The, the, the pictures that we saw from here live were unbelievably spectacular. The, the, the sound, and we, we could feel it when it took off. The, the, the whole trailer we're on started, started rumbling. It was, it was a fantastic sight. By the way, the, the boosters should now have splashed down in the Atlantic, about 160 miles from the Cape. They'll be recovered and they can use them again, of course. We can, we, we can see a, a plume of smoke stretching a, as far up in the sky as it is possible to see. It, it looks tremendous. Well, thank you, for th thank you for that. It looks as if uh, the problem may easily have been in uh, one of the cameras on board the chase aircraft, because we were getting pictures from the ground there at the Cape. Um, let's consider then what is about to happen a couple of minutes from now. Um, Columbia is at the moment, let's use the model, flying on the main engines in the spacecraft, fueled by the uh, giant external tank. Now these engines will be burning for another minute and 30 or so, um, and then these engines will cut out. Let's look at animation at what is likely to happen um, eight minutes and 32 into the mission. The tank will have exhausted its supply of fuel, the main engines will cut, and the tank will be jettisoned into the Indian Ocean. This is the only piece of equipment on board the transportation system which won't be used again. Then the orbital maneuvering system. This tiny pair of rockets at the back and the even smaller thrusters will take her into final orbit. Main engine cutoff and tank separations now about 40 seconds away so let's go live to mission control at Houston in Texas to see that important process through and if we can we'll pick up uh, Kieran's reaction from the Cape as we go. Well we're 67 miles up we're now. Listening <coughs> to mission control at Houston. Well, we're about to have Miko now. The main engines are about to be cut. There's hardly any fuel left in the external tank. We've been told we've been told that they can even go into orbit if two engines cut out. It's going that well. Waiting for the external tank to go. Fifteen seconds now to main engine cutoff. Sixty-three miles up. Five seconds to the time when they cut the engines. And that is main engine cutoff. Ten seconds or so from now, they will get rid of the external tank. Mike. Well done, Kieran. Thank you to you. Things look set to go for Columbia. Obviously, we will be bringing you uh, news throughout the day. As it happens, our next scheduled transmission is 3.45 this afternoon. Uh, but Columbia has gone. Let's look again at the pictures we all waited so long to see. Six, five, four. We've gone for main engine start. We have main engine start. America's first space shuttle. And the shuttle has cleared the tower.